Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dana Banana. I obviously have a little change of scenery. I'm in my car. I'm in my mom's car. Room, room. What we are doing today is Dana has to go to New Orleans and um, it's, uh, it's not a very long drive, but I decided to take you with me. We're gonna stop and get some gas. I'm going to chit chat a little bit, just like not, not about anything special. I'll probably vent a little bit, you know, and I will play some music for you. And I'm probably gonna get some food too because I'm hungry and I was gonna get a coffee but coffee really makes me need to pee so I'll probably just get a soda or something I'm not a healthy I'm not I'm not very healthy just to let you know sometimes I eat like kind of healthy like during the day when I film and stuff, like I am i don't eat hardly anything. I'll eat um, like lean, now I started eating lean pockets. That's about it. Living in Louisiana makes it 10 million times harder to, to ever like eat healthy. I mean, I know people in Louisiana eat healthy, but the food here is so damn good. You have no idea. If you haven't eaten Cajun food or just anything that a Louisiana person has made, you are missing out so much in your life. We, I truly believe that we have the best food in the entire world. Other cultures have really good food as well. I love Romanian food. Cajun food is just bomb AF. Okay, so I got me some gas. Oh my god, it was 43.43. Isn't that a sign? Like when it's like, I don't know, maybe I'm stupid. But I thought that was like a sign or something. Whenever like the dollar amount is, same as, is the same as the cents. So I got me some snacks. I am so weird and I like these little, not little, <laughs> this looks so weird. Uh, they're like buffalo chicken sticks. I don't even want to know what these are made of, but they're good. We got this in a cherry Coke. Like, what a healthy meal. <laughs> I want to vent for a second about how it's um 98 degrees outside right now and that's i don't know that's in fahrenheit um i believe that's like around 36 degrees celsius i'm not sure somebody correct me i am probably so wrong um i still don't know why we are not on the metric system so anyway it's hot AF outside. Like, so hot. And guess what I'm wearing? Obviously, you can see I'm wearing a black shirt. But I would love to be wearing shorts with this. But no, I'm wearing black pants, black leggings. Because if I wear shorts, I know that I'm going to get harassed. Isn't that absolutely absurd? Because... I am not with my husband. I'm gonna be walking the streets myself. I have to wear freaking pants. And it's very possible that I'll still get harassed even with pants on. But it's not gonna be as bad as if I had shorts on. So, like, do you understand, it's women, do you understand how annoying that is? I know I'm not the only one. Like, do you ever plan, like, if you're going somewhere and you're not going to have anybody with you, like, if you're just going to go by yourself somewhere and you plan, like, I really want to wear this, but I know if I wear this, I'll get harassed pretty badly, so I'm going to have to cover up more. And that's ridiculous. Like, I think that's so stupid. We need to teach men, ladies, teach your sons that women are not sexual objects. I really hope this is legal because... 
and right towards New Orleans. I mean, I guess it's legal. Everyone does it, and I don't ever see anybody getting pulled over for it. So... <laughs> if I get pulled over for YouTubing, I'll be so pissed. When I see you like Road closed in 16 miles. Your route has been updated. In 12 miles, take exit 182 onto R22 towards Sorrento. What? Damn it! So I got a detour apparently. And this is exactly why, even when I know where I'm going, I put my GPS on because like the signs on the interstate are just saying that there's an accident. They're not saying that the road is closed, but the road is closed. The only reason I knew that is because road of my- closed in 6.1 miles. The route has been updated in 900 feet. Make a U-turn at La 22. What? A quarter of a mile. Turn left to merge onto I-10 east towards New Orleans. Bruh. Exit 187 onto US 61 south towards Gramercy. I don't even know if I should listen to this dude anymore. Say I don't look much like a lover. Sick of leaving things happen. There was a dead raccoon on the side of the road that makes me so sad. I love raccoons. Uh, I don't like this. I should have just stayed on the interstate and waited in the traffic. But the traffic, I might have been there for like four hours. You never know with traffic. Like when they close the road, normally it's something really bad. So I might have been there for like legit hours. So I'm risking my life going down these creepy country roads. I hate the country. I don't hate the country. Like, obviously, countryside is a necessity in the world, but I don't like being in the country. I do not like it. I like the city. I like city roads. I, well, even with all the potholes, I would much rather be in the city. The country, it just scares me. And yes, I went to school in the country. I lived part of my life in the country, and it was terrible. It's just not where I'm meant to be. <sighs> You're speeding, ma'am. Do not speed on country roads. Cops are mean in the country. They have nothing better to do than to pull your ass over. Update. I just passed a gas station that is called Stumps. It had like three pumps and it looked very sketchy. And everything in this town is closed down. I don't even know what town I am in. I really should have stayed on the interstate. I think I might die. But at least I have this video. If I died, whoever finds this camera, please edit it well. Let my subscribers know that I love them. Let my family know that I love them. Still in the freaking country, Jesus. Nah. 3.2 miles. Turn right to merge onto I-10 East towards New Orleans. Yes! Getting back on the interstate. I'm paying attention to the road. The camera is safe, set up, in a locked position. I'm literally paying nothing attention to nothing else except the road. This is as if I had a passenger in my seat and I was speaking to them. Okay, just, just to let anybody that's worried know, especially my mom. So we're about to get back on the interstate and then we're gonna bump and grind. <laughs> Shut your freaking mouth, mind your own business, and love everyone, no matter where they come from, yeah, asshole. So you guys want to know what I did? I'm on some PR list now to receive PR packages, which is super freaking exciting. Never thought I would get this far. So I 
was like, hey, so some companies are reaching out to me now. What if I reach out to one that would probably never reach out to me? But even if I had 20 million subscribers, this company would probably never reach out to me because I focus on beauty on my channel. Stella Artois. I messaged Stella Artois the verified Stella account on Instagram and asked for some, I didn't ask for things. All I said, I don't want beer from them. I can buy beer. I will gladly buy Stella for the rest of my life. I don't need it for free. I want some apparel. I told them, I said that I understand you're probably like, what is this girl doing messaging us like she's a beauty guru on YouTube? Why is she trying to get apparel from a beer company? Well, Stella and other people watching this video, Stella's probably not watching this. I am different. I am not your everyday beauty guru on YouTube. I love sports. I love beer. I suck at taking pictures. I hate like, oh my God, I don't know how people go around in big cities and just take these cutesy pictures of their entire outfit. Like, that's just not me. That's not who I am. My main goal on YouTube is for people to realize who I am as a person. And yes, I love makeup, but that is probably the most girly thing about me. Everything else, I drink beer. I drink more beer than my husband drinks. I drink more beer than a lot of guys. Like, I love beer. I can drink it all day, every day, which I don't. I'm not an alcoholic. I love sports. You can bring me to any sporting event and I will be the happiest person in the world. Even if I'm not super into that sport, bring me to the sporting event and I'll be happy as hell. Beauty gurus always kind of try to sell the same stuff. Everybody, obviously we're gonna try to encourage you to buy certain makeup if we like it, yeah. But, I know some of my subscribers drink beer. I could, I bet I could get some people to drink beer. And in my message to them, I even said, <laughs> I said, I live in the South, I'm from Louisiana, and Louisiana girls drink beer. So I was trying to convince them that just because I'm a beauty guru, I can still advertise Stella. Like I said, I will, I, seriously, if they sent me stuff, I'm just warning you guys, that I'm probably just gonna wear a Stella shirt in all of my videos. Oh my God, what if they had Stella leggings? Oh, oh my God, I would never wear anything else. When you're gone. Now we're in traffic as always but sometimes I just need to talk and I've been so busy and I don't you know I, literally I've been filming and editing that's all I pretty much do I don't really have much of a social life anymore so most of the time when I'm chatting I'm chatting with y'all I hate when people randomly come up and start washing your window at a stoplight like oh I'm so weird we are back in business why does somebody always park behind me when I'm trying to leave this parking lot? Should I honk? Go. I honked and they're still not going. I seriously hate people. Okay. I hate driving in New Orleans. I really, 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 really do. Somebody please let me through. Aw, he has a German flag. Nice little German let me through. Thank you, sir. I love how so many people ride bikes here. Look how cute this girl is on her little bike. Oh, I hope I get it. Look how cute she is. Like her just, her outfit is so cute. She's just so cute. Okay, I'm gonna stop stalking this girl. That's so creepy. Oh my God. <laughs> girl, I'm sorry. Weep little lion man, you're not as brave as you were at the start. But it was not your fault but mine. And it was your heart on the line before.
Working at a nightclub that was called the Avenue The barman used to call a little Lisa Looney Chin She L-I-F-E-G-O-E-S-O-N You got more than money and sense, my friend Homegrown alligator, see you later Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road I could get used to this I've got the most beautiful voice in the world, just letting you know. I'm just kidding. I have the worst voice in the world, but I still love to sing, okay? You're not alone, together we stand. I'll be by your side, you know I'll take your hand. is not giving me the best service right now so well fudging fudging fudge your spare time and i love the thought of being with you or maybe it's the thought and not be so footage for this I think is good that's fine it's just gonna take me quite a while to edit so I really hope you and guys enjoy this so if you made it to the end of this leave a black heart emoji because that's like my absolute favorite emoji ever that's like the one I use the most the black heart if you made it to the end of this long ass video leave a black heart and I love you guys so freaking much if you like this type of video give it a thumbs up because I don't know if I should do this more often. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Perfect timing. I'm stopping and...